Hello, sweet friend. My name is Micah, and in this video, I would like to chat with you about my Hobonichi zipper cover in the Cafe Ole. I've had it for about a month now, and I thought it would be nice to take a closer look, talk about some things that I brought up in the unboxing, and share with you how I feel about certain things now that I've had it for a month and have been using it for a month. So in case you are considering getting it, um, that that might inform your decision making. So first up, I still very much love the cover. The fabric is so beautiful and it brings me so much joy whenever I see it sitting on my desk. I have to contain myself a little bit because I always want to stroke it. And I'm a little concerned of it getting super grimy over time. Uh, but yeah, it is just stunning, stunning, stunning. The zipper is very smooth and very reliable. The one thing I've noticed, and we'll see if that happens now, or if we get lucky because we're filming. And of course we get lucky while filming. <clears throat> It sometimes likes to get caught on the plastic cover that I have put on my notebook. So this is the Midori plastic cover. And as you can see, it stands up a little bit or like it, it extends a little bit beyond the notebook. I don't know if the camera is picking that up, but just right here, that little itsy bit there on the, on the spine. And so sometimes the zipper gets caught right here and it won't go all the way to the end. So I have considered taking the plastic notebook cover off to make that a little bit smoother. And of course, your notebook potentially doesn't need a plastic cover because it's already in this beautiful cover. <laughs> Where that potentially gets interesting is if you were planning to put a hone in here because I would imagine that that also would be a problem because the hone covers extend a little bit further than an A5. So I would imagine that a hone would be a tight fit in this cover as well. The other thing that's a little bit tight and that I had already started to notice in the Hobonichi unboxing is the pen loop. So they designed a very slim pen loop, which is meant to hold your pen uh, in this way, where you just clip the cap into the loop. I find that this is a very tight fit. And depending on how thick your pen is or how valuable your pen is, you might not want to risk it. So even a mild liner, it does shut, but it's veer very tight and I had to squeeze a little bit and now I'm gonna have a hard time opening it back up. So the pen loop is, ah, and here we have the <laughs> zipper getting caught on the plastic cover. So the pen loop isn't ideal and I get it. Hobonichi decided to design this zipper cover to be taut, right? That's in the name. It's the taut zipper cover. So what you get is a slimmer profile overall because the usual Hobonichi zipper covers are quite bulkier, quite bigger, and you do get the extra room. But again, then you have this massive uh, thing. I much rather have a little bit of a tight squeeze with the pen loop than have the cover overall be bigger but that's just my personal preference. In the comments from my Hobonichi unboxing, people gave me the tip of putting the pen in the spine and that works great. So you just put your fountain pen and this one is a pretty thick one in the spine and then you have no issues zipping. I have even found, depending on what kind of pens you use and how thick they are, uh, let's say instead of the big fountain pen, we would have a mild liner and a gel pen or ballpoint pen of some sort. And depending on how you jiggle them, they also easily fit and you can close it without any issues, which that's kind of nice if you have, you know, if you want to have 
a highlighter and a pen, that, that works great. Uh, something that sometimes works and sometimes doesn't is to have one pen in the pen loop and then one in the spine because depending on how thick the pen is that you put in the spine, it tends to push the notebook in the this direction and so then your pen will start to uh, get in the way of the zipper. So if you do want to put two pens in, then I would suggest trying it out in the spine. But again, I think there are combinations that will be too bulky. The other thing I have considered was to, because I'm storing my pencil board in here because I don't always use it, I could attach a pen loop to the pencil board and then have the pen loop right here. But so far I haven't done that because I wouldn't even be concerned about uh, more expensive fountain pens in here. This cover, this is such a snug fit that they're not rolling around in there. They're tight in there. There's no rattling. There's, I don't even think it moves. So, you know, I, I wouldn't be too concerned, but don't come at me if, if, you're, if your pen <laughs> gets uh, damaged because you put it in the spine. Speaking of the spine, uh, something that I had also noted in the unboxing is that it was not laying completely flat, that I felt like it was teeter-tottering a little bit, and that has definitely relaxed with use. So I don't know if you can tell. I mean, it lifts up maybe a little bit, but not really. And something that I did do very gently is every once in a while I was bending this backward just a little bit just to train the leather right here in the middle and so that has been working great and is no longer an issue. Now when it comes to notebook fits I have in here a Hobonichi grid notebook you know just the ones without any dates or anything in terms of thickness, I would imagine that that's similar to a Hobonichi Cousin. So any of the Hobonichi notebooks or a Cousin Avec fits very beautifully without any issues. You know, there's room to grow, I would say. So even if you flop off, flop off, <laughs> fluff up your Hobonichi Cousin Avec, I would think that it fits. I don't have an original Cousin, so what we're going to do instead to see if it fits is we're going to do the one avec and one notebook. And I would venture to guess that that is similar to an avec in terms of thickness. Uh, not avec. <laughs> it, original. The cousin original. My goodness. Keep it straight. Um, so if that is similar in thickness, then that does zip up, but it's tight. So if you are someone who does memory keeping in your cousin and you're also going to have fluffy pages, then I would say that this is not your best choice. I think this is more for either the notebook or the avec that you can fit in. Now, something that I have been doing with this one, um, this is a commonplace notebook for me, a storytelling research notebook or commonplacing but just about storytelling is that I I started that commonplacing in a TN and so I still have some information that I need to migrate from this into here and so that can easily fit and zip up beautifully. Uh, so that's kind of nice for me personally. I know that that's probably a very <laughs> uh, niche uh, example but you can fit an insert and a notebook and then just to see what happens, we can also try a notebook and a weeks. So if you were doing the AVEC with a weeks for your planning, then that also fits. It is a little bulky and a little tight where the Hobonichi weeks sits, but it's definitely doable. So you could do those two together as well. If your notebook isn't too fluffy, that is. But yeah, that's uh, what I have tried so far in terms of what notebooks fit in here. And then I also wanted to mention something that I have always been wondering about in terms of using a zipper cover 
is whether or not the zipper teeth would feel uncomfortable while riding. And so far, that has not been an issue. So for some reason, the way you hold your hand on the notebook, there's still room between your arm and the teeth. And usually, depending on how you hold your arm, the weight of your arm will uh, bend the teeth towards the book, and so they're not poking into your arm, but they're rather laying flat from the weight of your arm. The only time I've ever found it a little awkward is if you get into the bottom rows there of your notebook. But if you, for example, use uh, Hobonichi Cousin, then you have the quotes here at the bottom anyway, and you're probably not gonna write down there, but, you know, something to consider. I would say that I'm someone who is usually very sensitive to those kinds of things, and I have not had an issue with it. However, I'm also not using this on a day-to-day -day basis, and so maybe that is different for you. And also, I'm not doing very long writing sessions that go on for hours and hours, so that's maybe something to be mindful of if you're sensitive in that area. Yeah, and then in terms of pockets, uh, I have put in just my pencil board in here. I could probably stuff a little bit more in here if I wanted to. I know that the that Hobonichi makes those slim notebooks. I could definitely put one in here and um, that would close just fine. Um, I have put in some of my favorite washi tape in here just to have it on hand always and just some decorative pieces and some... Um, with a lovely quote that is very inspiring to me uh, with this clip here. I'm still unsure about the clip because um, I'm not sure if that's going to get in the way, but that's a fairly new addition. Um, the pockets in terms of pulling things in and out, they're okay. Uh, they're very slim. Again, everything about this <laughs> is a slim fit, but so far that has not been an issue for me. But if you were to put in cards that you access often. I think that would be a little annoying maybe, but again, that's very user specific, I would say. So overall, I'm super happy with this purchase. I enjoy it very much. I love the tactility of the fabric. I love the smell of this. Uh, I guess it has something that I didn't mention. This zipper cover has leather in the interior, which was one of the selling points for me because the zipper covers are always a little bit more expensive from Hobonichi. And sometimes, even though they are more expensive, they put faux leather on the interior. And I've heard people say that, for example, on the pen loop, the faux leather will start to peel off because of the clip rubbing and you pulling your pen in and out. And I would not enjoy spending a premium price on a cover that then has flaky faux leather in the interior. So I very much appreciate that this is real leather. It doesn't necessarily smell like the typical leather smell, but it also doesn't smell bad. It just has its own smell to it. I don't know. Um, I'd be curious if other people found the same thing with this model. So it has its very distinct smell that is very pleasant and I've started to associate that with this cover and with doing my storytelling research and so that's very nice and was part of why I went for a zipper cover because I felt like it created a space, you know, because it's enclosed and you zip it up but then also when you zip it open it's like this place you go to and so for that to have its own smell is its own kind of thing that I very much enjoy. I don't know, it's very romantic to me. I don't know. I, I thoroughly enjoy this. Uh, so yeah, there's that. I'm a happy customer. Let's say it that way. Uh, so yeah, let me know if you have any other questions about this. I'd be more than happy to do other fit tests or other pen combinations or whatever you need because I know that this is a little bit more of a premium priced item, I'd be happy to help you make a decision. Uh, yeah, that's it for now, I think. Uh, thank you so much for sharing this time with me. Until next time, happy journaling!